Welcome to Morningstar Reviews from Morningstar Christian Bookstore, sharing Jesus Christ with New England and the world. My name is Nicole, and today I'll be reviewing the book Parenting by Paul David Tripp. As the title suggests, this is a parenting book, but it's not a typical one. Most parenting books are filled with strategies to get your children to do this or to stop doing that. Chip tells us right up front that his goal in writing parenting was not to give practical strategies for dealing with behavior, but instead to give us a big picture parenting worldview that can explain, guide, and motivate all the things that God calls us to do as parents. He wants to give us what he feels like we're most missing in Christian parenting, the big grand perspectives and principles of the gospel of Jesus Christ. My favorite thing about this book is that Tripp builds his parenting guide on this foundation. Tripp begins by reminding us that children are a heritage or gift from the Lord, which means they really belong to Him. They are made in His image and then entrusted into our care. Tripp identifies and contrasts two different ideas about parenting, ownership parenting versus ambassadorial parenting. This was a completely new concept for me, and it has changed my perspective on parenting. As ambassadorial parents, we must remember that parenting is not first what we want for our children or from our children, but about what God in grace has planned to do through us in our children. Tripp keeps bringing the focus back to the gospel and how our children need it just as much as we do. We as their parents get the privilege of both sharing and living the gospel with them in practical ways through life's daily challenges. Tripp goes on to share 14 gospel principles that he says will radically change your family. Calling, grace, law, inability, identity, process, lost, authority, foolishness, character, false gods, control, rest, and mercy. In the chapter titled Lost, Tripp opens with this principle. As a parent, you're not dealing just with bad behavior but a condition that causes bad behavior. He explains that the bad behavior of our children is a result of their condition, their own sinful nature. They are lost. The good news is that Jesus came to seek and save the lost. Tripp steers parents away from expecting the temporary solutions of punishment and reward to be the final answer to bad behavior. Instead, he encourages parents to see each of these episodes of bad behavior as an opportunity to present the gospel, to share the biblical truths of sin, death, repentance, forgiveness, and grace with their children, and then to trust the Lord to produce true change in their child's heart and life. Overall, Tripp encourages us to think about parenting as a process, an unending conversation with our children that begins at birth and continues throughout their lives. One thing I really appreciated is Tripp's honesty about parenting. It's okay to admit that we simply don't have what it takes to parent on our own. Parents are not perfect. We get tired, run out of patience, and don't have all of the answers. We fall short in many ways. However, Tripp reminds us that parenting is a calling, a privilege where God allows us to be a part of His process in the lives of our children. As we remember God's grace and mercy toward us, we can joyfully share them with our children. This book is recommended for all parents, especially of young children, as well as those who might be thinking about having children. My children are older now, and I wish I had read this book a long time ago but I'm grateful to have read it now, and I would encourage any parent to read it, even if your children are grown. Thanks for watching this episode of Morningstar Reviews. If you liked this video, give us a thumbs up, share it with a friend, and subscribe for more great reviews and videos. Join us next time as we continue to share Jesus Christ with New England and the world.